Hi, I'm David Kilpatrick, club historian for the New York Cosmos. Perhaps the most heated rivalry in North American soccer history, the feud between the Cosmos and Rowdies was born from intense competition on and off the field, igniting with three matches in 1976. Rowdy's coach Eddie Fermani had been outspoken in his criticism of Cosmos coach Ken Furphy, and using an arguably thuggish approach, Tampa humiliated New York in front of a national TV audience, 5-1 to one in Florida. In the Bronx, for the return leg, the feud between Pelé and Rodney Marsh, who referred to New York's number 10 as the Black Rodney Marsh, reached new depths as the Cosmos won a 5-4 to four thriller. But the tactic of mugging Pelé paid off again for the Rowdies when they eliminated the Cosmos from the playoffs with a 3-1 win at Tampa. Keen for revenge the next year, Tampa spoiled Franz Beckenbauer's Cosmos debut in May, but on Father's Day, June 19th, a crowd of 62,394 fans at Giant Stadium saw Pelé score a hat trick in a 3-1 win. The pendulum had swung, and the Cosmos clicked into dynastic form that day. Helped in their title drive when Fermani shockingly resigned from the Rowdies midseason, only to reappear days later as head coach of the Cosmos. The Cosmos became the only team to repeat as NASL champions and the first to win a soccer ball on home soil when they beat the Rowdies 3-1 in Soccer Bowl 78. From 1975 to 1984, the two sides met 26 times, the New Yorkers holding the edge in the all-time series with 16 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. 18 games into the 15-game Fall 2013 reboot season, the Cosmos found themselves in first place, a point ahead of the Rowdies in the standings, though Tampa were on a 10-game unbeaten streak. History told us that the Rowdies had never won in New York, but down 1-3 at the half, it seemed as if the Cosmos record books would be whitewashed by the arch rivals. A Marcus Sena free kick in the 82nd minute capped off a remarkable 4-3 comeback win. The Cosmos have won four, drawn two, and lost two to Tampa since the reboot, but they still haven't lost at home to the Rowdies. When the Cosmos face their arch rivals for the 35th time on May 22nd, the New Yorkers will know they've got history on their side.